Today I fucked up and will be, mucked, as punishment. This is really embarrassing, but just happened. I know I won't come across in a good light here, but if nothing else I wanted to post this as a warning to others who think they can keep getting away with bad things forever. I was dumb and stole from a store a few weeks back, thinking I'd get away with it. I know it's a really bad habit, but I had some friends who showed me how easy it is to do when I was 16 17 so I've done it several times since. I only got caught once, at 17, and basically just got a slap on the wrist so I guess I learned that I wasn't risking very much by doing it. Well, the next day, two officers showed up at my door and said they had footage of my theft. I'd been caught again, so they took me down to the station to explain things to me. I figured they'd just give me a fine and curfew again. Wrong. I get there, and they said that based on my history, I would be potentially facing steep jail time and a permanent record but gave me the choice to be, mucked, instead. That's a semi-official punishment still used in some places in my country, and several other parts of Eastern Europe from what I've been told. It's just a one-day punishment, but basically you're taken to a cowshed, sat down and immobilized in a corner, and then several shovelfuls of cow manure are shoveled onto you. You're left there to suffer and they come back to release you at sundown. It's not codified in law and I have the option to decline it, but it doesn't seem like much of a choice, if the alternative is potentially a year in jail and more, they said if I submit to be mucked, the formal charges would be dropped. It's a way for local police departments to quickly and cheaply deal with cases, and they said the only reason they're offering it to me is that they're confident this will stop me from further reoffending. So I reluctantly agreed, just signed the paperwork today that I agree to receive a six-hour mucking as my punishment. The officer signed it and the store owner signed that he was satisfied with it too. I'm really dreading this, and have no idea what to expect since I've lived in the city my whole life. But I know I have no one but myself to blame. Too long did not read. Continually shoplifted, now facing justice at a dairy farm next week. I remember hearing about this form of punishment from other subs a long time ago. Might be controversial to some Americans, but honestly good on your local police department this sounds way more effective than making you lose your job and locking you up with a bunch of other offenders. Wish we used it for some crimes here. Enjoy your goopy, stinking six hours and stop stealing. A lot of people here don't seem to know what cow shit is like. You get to steal and sit in shit too? Lucky bastard. I recommend that you wear clothing you are prepared to strip out of and throw away. Some of the smell will wash off. But depending on how, fresh, the manure is the smell may stick with your clothes for quite a while. I used to come home from working in an office and feed the horses, sometimes I was lazy and didn't change my shoes. Those shoes still smells like horse shit, so they are no longer office shoes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Laughing my ass off is this for real? Hell yay I would rather be mucked than go through any legal trouble. Okay, it sounds like being, mucked, is being let off easy. You deserve jail, but you just have to exist beneath some shit for a few hours. If this is controversial, it's that it's controversial because you're getting another slap on the wrist. Jokes on the cops, op has a cow poop fetish. Today I fucked up by transferring oral herpes to my kid. Disclaimer, this is about oral herpes i.e. of the mouth and not about any type of sexual transmitted infection. So this actually took place over the last two weeks or so but just presented yesterday. A couple weeks ago my two kids were playing with bikes and cars in the driveway, normal stuff. Our two-year-old enjoys pushing the limits of his abilities while our four-year-old likes to get his little brother to do dangerous things. Somehow the younger one was standing on a car that was tied up to the oldest kid's bike. I turned around to see the oldest give the rope a jerk and the youngest lost his balances and smashed his face on the concrete. Yes, helmets were being worn, bloody lips, deep gashes, and blood seeping out of the lower lip. Got him inside and cleaned up, there were tears for a bit but overall he's a tough kid and the injury became a minor inconvenience to his daily life. Oh and this was two days before we family pictures. Fast forward to yesterday. He starts having a low grade fever, and is super tired and not feeling well. Of course we start thinking about COVID but we're really safe when it comes to exposure, but we get him tested anyway, results were negative. Then he starts telling us his mouth hurts, we think that's odd but can't figure it out. Then today his said his tongue hurts. It was tough to get him to show me his painful tongue but when he finally did I saw a white circle sore on the side which I immediately recognized because I occasionally get them as well. Then this evening there's been some additional sores on the outside of his lips. 
I remember when I contracted oral herpes in college from an ex-girlfriend and how sick I felt. I'm certain now this is the same thing. So now he will hardly eat or drink anything because his mouth, lips, tongue hurt so bad and unfortunately there isn't anything I can do to stop the virus or help his pain, sores go away. Oh and it's his birthday. Putting it all together. He had that cut lip from his fall in the driveway. I then had a sore in my mouth the next week or so and since we have a house full of kids everyone shares drinks and food so he must have got it this way. The open wound had to have been the spot it transferred. I'm usually fairly careful when I have a sore but with a few kids running around things get stressful and forgotten. Kids also will grab whatever drink they can when thirsty. It freaking sucks. I feel like a burning pile of trash for not being more careful especially with his cut up lip. And now I can't stop worrying about all the ways this will affect him in his much to be lived life. Advice for those with oral herpes, HSV1 don't share drinks or food with anyone during an outbreak especially your kids. TLR kid cuts lip while playing. Dad gets herpes sore in mouth. Shares drink with kid. Kid is now sick and has contracted HSV1, oral herpes. FML. TBF, don't feel too bad. A lot of people have it dormant in their system and never know they have it. It's messed up. I hope your kiddo recovers okay. This post just reminded me I haven't had a canker sore in over a year used to get M all the time. Guess one is gonna pop up tomorrow. Y'all can both get on an antiviral like acyclovir. You can take it to for daily outbreak prevention or for treating an outbreak. Don't worry that much. Tons of people have the herps because their grandma kisses their kids or something. When I was 14 I accidentally drank my parents roofied orange juice woman shrugging you're not the worst parent haha. Sorry to hear this happened. I get oral herpes as well and know it can be hard when you have an outbreak to not share it with your significant other and child. Have you considered he may not actually have herpes? Hand, foot, mouth can have sores that look very similar to herpes, but are indeed not. There is a treatment that can help the pain and clear up the infection. My want to take him to the doctor or urgent care to check it out. Good luck. Don't feel bad. Herpes can be transferred without active sores. It was bound to happen anyway. Man I contracted oral herpes at age 3 in the hospital with a broken femur. Shrug. Shit happens I guess. You learn to live with it and eventually figure out triggers. I.e. I found heavy stress and dry weather, cold dry lip licky or too long in the sun at the river, to be great proponents for cold sores. Haven't had one in almost 10 years but I'm extra precautious about those scenarios these days.